super shady, super gross. I was like, ew, it was icky. Aloha everybody, my name is Lehua and welcome to the Superfina channel. I am a Hawaii variety content creator and host of podcasts across worlds. In this video, we're going to do a recap slash review of that time I got reincarnated as a slime season three, episode 60, festival preparations. This episode is packed with exciting developments, shady dealings, and a celebration in the making. The episode opens with Rimuru in full city building mode, with Tempest officially recognized as a nation. It's time to celebrate with our grand festival. Rimuru sets out to plan the festivities, ensuring there is something for everyone. He'll announce and introduce himself as a demon lord. He'll also promote Tempest and bring in customers from commoners to nobles. First, we see how Vesta and Gabble are faring with their potion-making business. Everyone's going to be doing a presentation, so they'll be presenting the history of their potion-making journey, attracting people interested in the topic, and recruiting for the potion production. It seems Rimuru's entrepreneurial spirit is rubbing off on everyone. We also see or have also have a quick check-in with Xion and a memory flash of Eldora. Seems like we'll check in on their presentations in later episodes. Next, Rimuru and Shuna visit Yoshida, a fellow reincarnator with a knack for cooking. He is a patsy. To secure his culinary expertise for the festival, Rimuru makes a unique proposal a special dish from Tempest in exchange for his services. This playful negotiation sets the stage for some delicious future offerings. It was actually Shuna's idea to go to Ingresia to meet Yoshida. Coincidentally, Yoshida was smitten by Shuna, and the dish that impressed Yoshida was or were eggs prepared by Shuna. They looked like tamagoyaki, I'm not going to lie, no matter how impressive her skills were, I was skeptical of this, so I think Yoshida was biased. <laughs> Meanwhile, we witnessed Lord Kazak, yeah, Nobu, in a suspicious conversation with Molly, our merchant friend, discussing about elf slaves. So remember in previous episode, Yuki and Damrata from the East Merchant? Damrata mentioned slaves, so maybe Laura Kazak is connected to Damrata. Sounds super shady, even with the whole slave thing. And then the mention of elf slaves. Rimuru then crashes the meeting, instantly recognizing Kazak's nefarious intentions. Kazak, Kazak ever the opportunist, even considers taking Rimuru as a slave because he doesn't know if he's if Rimuru is a boy or a girl. He's like admiring his face and he's like, hey, how about I employ you? Super shady, super gross. I was like, ew, it was icky. That I felt ick. If you see my reaction on my Patreon, you'll see my reaction on that scene. It was I felt dirty. So however, Molly, already perturbed by this noble, disgusted by Kazakh's actions, kicks him out and severes all ties with him. But I think we're going to see him again. With Kazakh out of the picture, Rimuru and Molly discuss the upcoming festival and a surprising business venture. A restaurant for Rodora Tepenyaki, to be specific. The idea of Eldora running a restaurant is sure to bring some laughs because, you know, he's the comic relief in the future episodes. However, I'm kind of wondering if Luminous is going to, like, try to sabotage his shop. I wouldn't be surprised. Rimuru's ambitious plans don't stop there. He dreams of transforming Tempest into a bustling resort location filled with entertainment options. This reminds me of the mobile game, Isekai Memories, and the upcoming RPG, Isekai Chronicles, which is going to launch in August 2024. Now, inspired by the Kingdom of Ingridia's 
arena, Rimuru decided to build one in Tempest, all with Molly's grateful assistance. Molly mentions Masayuki, the light speed hero. This person, Masayuki, has a Japanese name, so maybe he was summoned. And there's the word hero in his title, which eludes he's had made great achievements like Hinata and Shizu. In this scene of the anime, Rimuru looks like he's tuning out Molly. However, we need to keep our ears and eyes out for Masayuki. And the reason why I'm saying that is that it's because when Rimuru tunes people out, we get tuned out. So we don't hear anything, no details like, to be specific. We don't hear any details about Masayuki. However, I'm thinking, predicting actually, that we're going to see him sometime during the festival, especially in the arena. As the episode progresses, we see Fuse struggling with the recent revelations about the Seven Days Clergy. Rimuru offers some words of encouragement and entrusts him with invitations to the festival. One for the king of Lumen and, surprisingly, one for Yuki. I'm curious about Yuki's reaction because the festival is looking very similar to a school festival, which is something that he's familiar with from his home world. And I'm just also curious who else we're going to encounter at the festival because in the anime, we see the new opening and we see invitations being sent out to different countries, regions, etc., etc. So it's going to be really, really interesting to see what happens. So in this episode, it's setting the stage for the festival. Literally the title of the episode, Festival Preparations. The festival is going to be filled with different types of entertainment, food, and unexpected encounters. And that was our recap slash review of that time I got reincarnated as a slime season three, episode 60 festival preparations. What do you guys think about the episode? What do you think about this video? Let me know in the comments and don't forget to like and share. If you want to go into the topic some more, I also host podcasts across worlds. Hawaii's number one podcast for anime and manga. We also interview people in the anime industry. So if you're interested in that, link to the podcast will be in the description. Other than that, my name is Lehua, and this is the Super Fina channel doing a recap slash review of that time I got reincarnated as a slime season three, episode 60. Hope you guys like this video and we'll see you on the next one. Ahoy ho!